Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Yeah. Did y'all see it? Shout out to Maria Taylor, the newest member of NBC. <laughs> Ha 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 I'm laughing straight to the bank that is ha 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 Man You don't know how happy I am as a brother to see a black woman of her stature get the respect that she should have been got and this is the ESPN. It's going to be a lot of people following that trend. Following that trend. Leaving them alone. I'm telling you. Watch what I tell you. A lot of people are not going to be messing with ESPN anymore, really. I'm telling you. ESPN, or I like to call them BSPN has really effed up they treat their black they treat blacks like they ain't shit and they just continue to do what they do and it's a shame man how they treat them they treat them bad they do them dirty everything and they do blacks poorish poorish and I can't believe some of these people out here was talking about, oh, well, she she don't deserve that money or something. I'm like, why she don't deserve that money? Steven, Steven Coon Smith don't deserve his money, so why don't she deserve hers? She deserve her money. You guys just haven't seen Maria like that. You guys don't watch sports faithfully like we do. We know what she brings. She's very talented. She has a presence. And NBC welcomed her today. And there she's going to rock at that job. They're going to love her over there. Her energy and everything is going to be there. And shoot, she probably could branch off and do her own show. You feel me? That'll be fun to watch. Seeing her do her thing. You know, and I'm happy for her, man. I mean, you know, a lot of these people, man, be hating on the Lodo. All the time they be hating. Really be hating. Taking sides, taking the white girl racial, racial nickel side. Coon ass niggas gonna start jumping on her bandwagon. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's messed up. It's messed up how they're treating people. It's messed up how they're doing people. And they're doing people dirty, especially on e on SP. So I'm happy for her. She deserves it. Now Joe Biden basically is going to um he put a, together a task force to come to your home if you're unvaccinated and you have to get vaccinated. Or they're probably going to say throw you in jail. Remember, Carcino talked about this a long time ago, King Jeffrey. That's why I really didn't talk about it. I've seen them doing this before because my mom watched the news. But I, I knew they were finna do this. They're trying to force that vaccine on everybody. I had to get tested because I, I had to take the vaccine because my nieces and then my damn mom and sister, they bug my ass every goddamn day. So I couldn't dodge it. So I had to take the first shot. I got to take another one next. But I pray I make it. Because I don't trust this shit at all. People trying to say it's conspiracy. It's not no damn conspiracy, nigga. It's, it's the truth. This shit is fucked up. They make you sign something. Which if you get sick from it, you cannot sue them. They put a thing out there. And I made the video to that. 
I hope they don't take that shit down. They took the other shit down about the recall of Johnson and Johnson. So they bitch ass tried. They hit me with a warning. They couldn't hit me with a strike because the information's out there. So they was like, we'll give you a warning, but the next time you'll get a strike. So they're basically after my page. Can't stand these bitch ass YouTube. YouTube full of shit. I can't wait till I get my shit together where I got my own website. I can have my videos on there. Y'all can come look at it. All I ask is for a donation, man. At least give a dollar or two to keep the page going. You know, and then I'm going to open a Patreon so y'all can get some stuff over there. When I open the Patreon, I'm going to be basically breaking down game film. We're going to be watching full games. Um, and I'm going to show you guys like the, I'm going to show you guys what plays they're running on the football field, basketball field, breaking things down and showing you how, um, where guys are supposed to be. You guys are going to enjoy that. And, you know, I'm going to have some videos. I'm going to have some music over there. Um, and then once I start shooting videos, I'm going to up the VIP from $10 or $15 up to like $30 or $40. And we're going to have full videos on there. So, you know. But right now, you know, that's just a, a thing I'm putting out there. You know, let me know what you want me to talk about on the Patreon. What would you like me to talk about? What would you like me to dive into? I'll do it for you guys. So, you know. But Joe Biden's going to force everybody to take the vaccine. He's sending people to the house. Um, strike force, his own little strike force which I believe is over excessive, but Carcino talked about this on One Crack News, he talked about this. He told everybody, he said that they're gonna start forcing people to take the vaccine. They do not care. <laughs> they will force you to take it if they have to. So please be respectable. Don't go crazy fighting them or cussing them out because they will use force and they can say that you tried to attack them. They are very lot, they are very good for that. Oh man, I knew I shouldn't have gone this way. I went the wrong damn way. Damn this traffic up here. That's why I hate it out in this part of Texas. I ain't used to driving in this rain, man. I'm from Florida, baby. I can't wait to go back. But yeah. I watched a um, segment of Knuckleheads where Kathy Poindexter was on there. And man, she was she a beautiful young woman before she um before they um made her crazy. Um, she was talking about basketball and a lot of things, and if you compare her to then to now, you could tell that she's not in her right mind right now. And I wish people stopped, you know, dissing her trying to make it seem like she crazy when she's not. Seriously. You know, the disrespect is so real. That's what I'm saying, man. Disrespect. Now, the NFL also has come out with a vaccination thing saying that if you're unvaccinated and a team catches COVID, you forfeit that game, 
and um, you guys will be tested. If you've been vaccinated and you come up with two negatives, you're only out two days. If you have, if you're unvaccinated, I think you're out 10 or more days and you cost your team a check. Both teams will lose a check. They will not have a check. Both teams will lose a check. DeAndre Hopkins and Beasley are going against it. Hopkins doesn't want to take it because his brother-in-law took the um, vaccine and had a heart attack right after he took the vaccine. Cole Beasley doesn't want to take it because he feels like we played last year without it, so why we need it this year? And um, Beasley basically said he's cool with the consequences. He'll accept it. But hey, the Bills, like players are going to turn on each other. And see, this is who I blame. I blame the players. If you guys would have been, got, if y'all would have got y'all head out y'all ass and changed the CBA, you guys would have been fine. But no, y'all wanted to smoke y'all weed. Y'all wanted to have more days off. They gave you more days off and guess what? They can force you to do whatever the hell you want to do. That's the facts. So you can be all uh, mad. You could be mad as hell. But that's what happens, man, when you guys don't stand firm. And that's why I said the NBA players as well. You guys have to sacrifice to get what you need. And that's the problem with these players today. They don't sacrifice. They're too busy wanting to get on IG or, or get the check or get on um, time off. Like, dude, this is your livelihood. If you guys would stand pat and fight the owners, you guys will have a lot of stuff coming your way. It's the same thing with blacks. If we start looking at the laws and going at these politicians and putting pressure on these politicians, putting pressure on the mayor and all of them in our local city and the um, council group. It will work. It will be changed. Go after the aldermen who control your area. They, It will change. Put pressure on them because they do not want to lose money. They do not want to lose their job. So you guys have got to wake up. But the NFL, that's what you players get. You gave all this power to them. Now you're getting screwed. Hey. It is what it is. So, hey. Guys gotta wake up, smell the coffee, and get yourself together. I know you guys will lose checks, but hey, it is what it is. You, you should have no, you should have um, thought about that before you signed that CBA. Got to think smart. Got to think smart. Oh, these people can't drive. Can I get over? Cool. But um, that's all I got for today, man. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you like what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash shopping me at the word welcome. The number two and an HDII TV. I might do a stream yard tonight. I'll see how I feel when I get home. Thank you for listening. We're out. Easy.